Hi, my name is Rob Fockens. I'm a South African composer. I've been based in the UK for the past 15, 16 years. Um, came over to study initially and never left. Um, I now teach at Cardiff University, where I teach across the range from undergraduate all the way up to uh, research students. My own compositional interests are quite diverse. Uh, obviously, my background as a composer, as a musician at least, uh, is as a singer um, and as a violinist, uh, where I did most of my training. Um, I've also sung in opera choruses, I've sung in um, cabarets, I've sang in Queen tribute bands. I've done quite a lot of different uh, singing particularly, and of course with the violin, played in orchestras, uh, played a lot of chamber music, uh, and various other things. My interest compositionally uh, stem, I guess, from the range of influences I've had. Um, I've had a particular interest uh, throughout my life in uh, traditional South African music. Um, my particular influence from South African traditional music is from a musical bow, uh, musical language by the Xhosa people. They use two different types of bows, really quite an extraordinary uh, musical repertoire and uh, this has been very important to me both structurally and uh, technically um, and also to some degree aesthetically. Obviously there's a big range of contemporary music that interest me. Um, I think a lot of people will hear um, some sort of minimalist influence, perhaps also American experimentalists, Cage, Feldman, uh, of particular interest to me. Uh, also, many of the European uh, spectral and post-spectral composers in terms of my approach to sound. I'm also very interested in jazz, uh, and electronica has been a big influence uh, in its own way. And so in addition to writing uh, for acoustic ensembles, which has been the majority of my work so far, and of course the voice, which is one of my major interests, um, I also am starting to, and have over the last few years, written a fair amount of electroacoustic music. And I have a big project for two violins coming up, uh, for two violins, the fantastic uh, violin duo Rhetorica and Electronics. My starting point with the piece uh, which I wrote for PI, Huri Kwaho, uh, which is um, the, an old name uh, meaning mountain on the sea for Table Mountain in Cape Town. I'm from Cape Town uh, and grew up there. Um, and obviously, it's a, it, as a landmark and as, a, as in the place that you live, it it's rather dominates one's life uh, on a physical uh, level, uh, or at least a geographical level. Um, the initial idea, however, came from the question of musical perspective. It's something I've explored before in my violin concerto, which I wrote for Harriet McKenzie, An Eventful Morning. Um, this idea that a piece of material can be seen from, as it were, very, very close up, or very, very far away, or indeed any point in between. And the premise of the piece, and the structural premise of the piece, is an idea of a, se a sequence of snapshots at different uh, distances away from, initially, a piece of material. So we hear in the third movement, which uh, essentially is a long process of starting with the material in its most expanded form, so at its greatest distance, and then a sequence of, of sections which then present the material slightly closer up until the point um, that, it is at its, uh, that one is almost looking at the finest possible detail of the idea. So the idea that was driving, uh, uh, although there's a sort of a, a visual analogy, um, the idea of perspective, um, the initial idea had nothing indeed to do with Table Mountain or indeed any other object or geographical landmark. During the writing of the piece, uh, and given my interest as, as a composer, um, I'm always interested in locating my work uh, in a South African frame um, because of its obvious importance to me. Um, during the course of the work, this idea of, of Table Mountain and the various perspectives from which one can view it um, uh, came into my mind and became an obvious sort of metaphor or obvious connection to the piece and the piece kind of gradually became, uh, as pieces do, these two factors sort of found their way to each other um, so that by the end the piece was entirely about uh, m specific positions that one might view um, of Table Mountain. So the last, the first two movements, which were written last, of course, um, are in fact very specific positions that one can take um, to view Table Mountain, one very much further away, uh, which the final movement starts with as well, and another one very, very close, uh, relatively close up, standing uh, in, um, in the middle of the city bowl. 
As always with my work, um, there's a very, very strong influence from uh, the traditional uh, bow music that I mentioned before, Khosa bow music. Um, you'll hear throughout the piece, uh, or at least it gradually develops, it's very, very strong in the second movement, and then in the third movement it gradually becomes more of a presence. There is an oscillating pair of notes uh, next to each other, what we could say a tone apart, occasionally a semitone apart, and this comes directly from uh, a traditional bow music, which uses two fundamentals over which uh, the harmonic series um, are used in order to create melody and, and harmony. Working with PI was very exciting. Um, I ended up conducting the ensemble. It was very nice to change the relationship from observer, as one often is as a composer, to active participant. And it was very uh, enjoyable to be able to engage with relatively young players. Um, you still have a real fire, a real enthusiasm for the music, um, uh, for any music that's put in front of them, and who put complete and utter commitment into the performances. Um, I had three fantastic soloists um, who worked very, very well just to get the piece together quickly and played absolutely stunningly. Um, so I couldn't really have asked for much more. I think what I particularly enjoy about work with PI is the fact that as an organisation, whether the management or the players, there's real uh, creative energy about the work that they do, um, which means that one is not just going into the project as the creative person making a piece, delivering it and it's then performed. Um, there is an interest in the process, there's an interest in how to present the performance and how to make, uh, from a player's perspective, how to make the performance as exciting, as energetic, and uh, feeling as much like a creative act um, as the actual composing itself. So five words about PI, creativity, um, energy, uh, enthusiasm, excellence, um, and hmm, just wonderful really.